Mark Fitchett here, and today's lesson is on how you can build 36 three-note chord shapes off of each note in a diatonic scale. Since there's seven notes in the scale, that means that you can come up with 252 diatonic three-note shapes. I'll be using the G major scale, and I'll be thinking A Dorian because I want to use the A bass note on the string so you can hear how the chords sound ringing against the open A. Basically, the idea is to start with an interval. In this case, I'll use a second. And then once you play that interval, add everything from a second to a seventh on top. So I will start with C and D and then add E and then keep building from there. Now, in these shapes, it's possible to go further, invert them, open them up, and stuff like that. But just to keep it simple, we'll go as far as a seventh. And I'll start with a third, so it'll be C and E. Now for the fourth which will be an augmented fourth in the case of being in the key of G. Starting with the fifth. I'm going to do a six now. I'll probably have to change positions to actually reach all the notes. So let's see what happens. Now for the position switch. Yeah, so in a lot of these things, you know, you, you can't actually do them in the same spot. You're going to have to shift over just because of the reach. Uh, I'm trying to keep as close as possible so you can see me start with the interval and then just go up. Basically, I'm just going up the scale. Whatever interval I'm starting with, uh, then the next interval from that is a second, then a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way up to a seventh. And again, you could go farther. You could add the octave, uh, whatever you can reach, actually. Um, but... To get the basic concept of this, it's best to kind of stay within a seventh between each interval. So the seventh to the seventh is the largest one, and the uh, second to the second is the smallest. Typically, two twos, seconds to seconds, are, are pretty hard. Uh, and there's only a few places you can get them. Um, okay. So another idea is you take one of the shapes that you like, and then you play it parallel. In other words, make a diatonic chord scale out of it. Same, it's the same A you would do a, a major scale. So I'm still thinking A Dorian because I love my open A string. And if I did the G major scale in root position triads, so normal thing to do. But any of these shapes, you take it through the diatonic scale horizontally, and then you kind of see how it works, maybe how you would use it in a rhythm context or maybe even for soloing. So let's take one of my favorites, which is a two and a four. see it's a great sound sometimes I call these modal chords in that they're not definitive like triads 
and they're acting maybe as uh, you know sus chords or just sort of ambiguous chords. So they're actually not really definable until you put them into a harmonic context. So for example, when I played the twos and the fours, and I'm thinking A minor, I could define the shape in, in regards to the, to the A minor chord. So G, A, D, it's implying an 11th, because it's got the seventh root and the 11th. A, B, E, implying the ninth, and so on it goes. So it's really good if you, as you're learning these, and you use them against a certain um, harmony, chord in the, in the scale, then you analyze it, how it's reacting towards that particular chord of the moment. So I got this idea from this great book I got years ago from Berkeley Press called The Guitarist's Guide to Composing and Improvising by John Damien. All right, thanks for checking out my YouTube Guitar School Online guitar lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got something out of it. If you like what you saw and you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, tell your friends. And if you have any ideas of things you'd like to learn on the guitar, drop me a line through my YouTube page and maybe I can put a video together for you.